Hi, welcome to second grade. All right, so to introduce myself, uh, I live in Evanston and I grew up in Highland Park. I love to work out each day and travel. Well, I'd love to travel each day, but that's not a thing, um, especially because my family now lives in Colorado and North Carolina. I have a new nephew who to me is probably the cutest baby on the planet. I've included a few photos Actually, all four of them have him somewhere. If you'd like to contact me, uh, my op the options to contact me um, are Seesaw, my email, and then I've included my cell phone. So there are a couple different things about our classroom this year. First of all, the kids will come in or have come in uh, to see that there are two names on their desks because we have an afternoon class and a morning class. And next to each name are the QR codes to be able to get into each of their clever accounts. They also have a book bin and then a large plastic container where they can keep their supplies since we're trying to be cautious about uh, the pandemic and make sure that we're not sharing supplies this year. I've also shared with you a special schedule. So if your child is at home in the morning, you're gonna look at the first schedule and that shows you what specials they have each day in the morning. If your child stays home in the afternoon, sorry, um, then you're gonna look at the second schedule and that shows you what specials they have in the afternoon when they're home. Now, what you probably noticed is that on Tuesdays, they don't have any specials at all. So my suggestion would be to work on the extra activities that they've gotten from the specials teachers, on Tuesdays that is. Then each day they're provided with one English, Spanish, math, and science or social studies activity to do asynchronously. So just make sure that they, number one, that they do it, and number two, that they're checking it off in Otis. Also, as I said, a good day to do those extra specials activities would be Tuesdays because they have no Zoom calls. And then if for some reason they'd prefer to do their work on pencil and paper and instead of using the tools on Seesaw, then they can do that. Just take a picture of it and then put it into Seesaw. Also, um, so the way in which kids will get to Otis, they need to access Clever. Then when they go into Clever, they're going to look for the Otis icon. Once they're in Otis, they're gonna look for their homeroom class and find the lessons tab. Once they're in the lessons tab, then they're going to look for the date that that assignment is um, supposed to be worked on and start working on that assignment. This is the AM schedule for kids that come in the morning to Oak Terrace. And this is the PM schedule for kids who come to Oak Terrace in the afternoon. It's super important that each day kids come to school with their iPads charged. So these are the common core standards that we're going over in second grade. We're going to hit number sense, strategies for addition and subtraction, numbers and operations in the base 10, measurement and data, geometry, time, money, and then yes, there are games um, to help the kids review what it is that we've been working on. So Bridges is the core resource that we use, and it's supposed to help kids develop the concepts in the common core that are appropriate for their grade level, as well as solve complex math problems and look for patterns. The core resource that we use for literacy is ReadyGen. We use that for English and Spanish. There are five units for ReadyGen in second grade, and they are understanding communities, making decisions, building ideas, facing challenges and change, and pioneering new ideas and worlds. And those also correlate with science and social studies units. 
Um, this is just a quick review of ReadyGen, just like the slide that followed the math slide. So within ReadyGen, some of the skills that we're going over are foundational skills, vocabulary reading, language analysis, writing, and spelling. We are also using a new uh, resource for science, and that's Amplify Science. We have three units in second grade in science, and they are changing landforms, plant and animal relationships, and properties of materials. We also will be rotating in and out science and social studies using the TCI Social Studies Alive. Um, and last but not least is our school lunch schedule for the month of September. Just please remember that anyone's allowed to grab lunch and when they order lunch, it comes with both lunch and breakfast. All right, so I look forward to a great 2021. If you all have any questions, please reach out to me. Um, and that goes for any time throughout the school year. I'll try to make myself as available as possible, especially because this is all pretty new to most of us. All right, take care, uh, and I look forward to hearing from you.